Hey guys, welcome to another exciting class on Benko Institute. I remain your very own technician, Gideon. On today's class, we are looking at this LEPAC sandwich generator. And the fault of the generator is that it doesn't produce voltage. Actually, a client of ours was making use of it and the complaint was this. It was producing voltage at one point. In fact, it was powering the, the house at one point. But all of a sudden, the, the voltage started blinking and subsequently went off. So on today's class, we'll be trying to fix the generator, see what exactly is wrong with it and put it in order. Okay, just to be, just to show you guys what the client talked about, I'll just put on the generator, then check the voltmeter if it reads check this pilot lamp here if it's going to show voltage if it shows light that means there's voltage from the generator and if possible test the connectivity continuity of the generator via this multimeter all right let's put it on Okay, what I did just now was to check the voltmeter if it's going to read, but well, fortunately it didn't. I actually checked the pilot lamp here to see if it's going to at least show any light, but nothing showed up. I equally tested the sockets to see if it's going to uh, read via this meter, but fortunately nothing happened. Okay, before I continue, I will equally check the continuity of these sockets. Why am I checking the continuity to see if, for example, uh, the wires connected to this particular socket um, is discontinuous along the way? What that means is if it's breakdown along the way. So this meter will show us if there's something like that. So that's wasting much of your time let's go into that all right let's see if the wires are continuous okay it's showing continuity what that means is this socket is very very much okay and the fault of the generator is not attached to this socket whatsoever all right we are done with this for matters relating to voltages or voltage rather if you are done with the socket and you are sure the socket brings the socket is continuous what you do next is to quickly check on the alternator okay you check on the alternator to see if your alternator is okay uh, first of all you scan for bonds you scan for bonds and to see if at least physically you can see anywhere there is bond in the machine but so far physically i've not been able to see any bond okay what you do next is to test for the alternator after the alternator we further test for the field windings to see if it's continuous all right okay you know the brush is connected to the slip rings the, cum the commutator right so we'll test to see if it's continuous i don't know can you guys see this okay just to be sure if this meter is working fine it's working fine Wow. What this shows now is this. Checking the meter, it works fine, but 
trying to read it with the brush it doesn't read at all so most likely 99.9% .9 of the time now the issue is from this place let's check it properly okay okay what happened here is this what happened here is this is the leg of the brush the carbon brush which is supposed to sit on the communicator a commutator one of the leg is damaged and as such i think that's the reason this does not connect to the armature okay just to be very sure let's test the armature for continuity don't forget the armature is the rotating part of the alternator so let's test for continuity wow okay this alternate this amateur is continuous so what that means is the brush is erasing this generator does not produce voltage so we're going to get the brush now the brand new brush and fix it okay guys um we just got a new brush this was the previous one we lose that from the generator that had bad one bad leg i just got a new one and before fixing it if you have watched this video to this very point please do well to um subscribe if you haven't subscribed do well to share the link with friends and family and also do well to to drop comments in the comment section so we know you really love these videos Okay, let's fix up. Okay, why fixing? You fix just exactly the way you lose it out. So it's not really difficult. It does not require any much technicalities. Just fix the way you brought it out. All right, let's test now. You know, initially we tested and the multimeter didn't give us any reading. Yeah, okay. Let's test now. all right there is a reading now this clearly shows these brushes perfect right can you see that clearly this shows this brush is perfect and of course the generator is going to come on and the voltage come on as well all right just to confirm let's put it on to see See the pilot lamp working now. All right, we've successfully fixed this generator that refused to produce power. All right, that is it from us from this class. Please do well to like and subscribe to this channel. That is, if you haven't, do well to tell family and friends about the videos on this channel so we have more eyes watching our videos uh, till meeting our next class is goodbye from us take care